welcome everybody to Race Face TV and this edition of Who's Next. Today, we're going to go across the state because I'm over by Tampa, Florida, but we're going to go across the state to Dillian Springs, Florida, where we find quarter midget driver Liam Riddle. He's seven years old and Dillian, Florida is right outside of Daytona. So Liam, how are you doing today? Good. All right, so I got a first question I always ask everybody. What made you want to be a race car driver? Um, I watched it on TV with my dad and I, and it looked fun. And so you just thought, I want to get behind a race car. Yes, sir. Okay, so what did you do? Did you, did you guys know that you wanted to go quarter midget racing? So um, if so, is this your first year racing or your second year? How long have you been racing? First year. The first year. All right. So you're brand new to it. And how did you stumble upon the quarter midget ranks? Did you have some friends that were racing that or just do some? Yes. You had some friends that were racing quarter midgets. So. My, um, go ahead. My neighbor. Your neighbor runs quarter midgets. All right. So what's the name of your local club? Little New Smyrna. You're at Little New Smyrna. Okay. You know that's a very historic track there in New Smyrna, Florida. Yes, sir. It is because there's a lot. I mean, boy, I could just name off all kinds of major NASCAR drivers that have run there. And of course, the New Smyrna Speedway is all a part of Speed Weeks. So... Do you ever have the desire to think that you want to get out on the big track and maybe run a late model or a super late model or a oh, K&N yeah. car? Yeah? Oh, well, that yeah. Sounds... All right. So I'm going to gather that your favorite track is New Smyrna? Yes, sir. Have you been racing any place else besides that track? Yes, sir. Where else have you been to? Dixie Shootout. The Dixie Shootout, and where was that located at? Nashville. Nashville, Tennessee. So you went to Music City and ran in that race. How'd you do there? I spun out on the last lap. Oh, well, you know what? Sometimes that happens, you know, so. All right, so share with everybody what class you race in currently. Um, red Rookie. You read in the Red, the red Rookie class, okay. So, I understand that you've got a very cool nickname. So, what is your nickname? Lightning. Lightning. Now, where did that come from? How did you come up with the name Lightning? I thought of it in my dreams, and it, and it turned out it was my grandfather's nickname. Now, that's pretty cool. So, you were asleep, dreaming about yes. racing. And all of a sudden you thought, I think Lightning would be a great nickname, but you didn't know that was your grandfather's nickname? No. Oh, that is, that is so cool. That is very cool. So what do all your friends think about you being a race car driver? Um, they think it's cool. So let me ask and you a they question. Like me. If, if your friends came over today and wanted to say, hey, Liam, let me take your quarter midget for a couple laps around the block, would you let them do that? No. Good answer. How come you wouldn't let them do that? No way. No way. You don't want them to wreck your car, right? No way. Okay. All right. So we play a little game, and it's called Get to Know Liam in 60 Seconds. So are you ready to play? Yes, sir. All right. So what's your favorite food? Pizza. Pizza. What's your favorite video game? Uh, Minecraft. Minecraft. And your favorite TV show? Johnny Chess and Garfield. Okay. What's your favorite color? Blue. Blue. Who is your favorite superhero? Hulk smash. Okay. And what's your favorite subject in school? Math. Math. Math is a good one to have because as you get older, math will come in 
to play when you're starting to figure out your race car setup and stuff like that. So that's really cool. Yes, sir. And what's your favorite racing series? Um, Sprint Cup. The Sprint Cup. Okay. So here's a, here's a big question. Who is your favorite race car driver? And you can only give me one name. Chase Elliott. Chase Elliott. Why do you like Chase so much? Because he's young, upcoming, and I want to be like him. You want to be like him? That's a really good role model. So let me ask you something. Do you have any pets? Yes. What kind of pets do you have? I have one, which is a dog. Mm -hmm. And what's his name or her name? Um, Eva. Eva. And what kind of, what kind of dog is Eva? A Rottweiler. A Rottweiler. Okay. Well, that'd be good to put on like at your trailer to keep anybody away from messing with your, with your race car. Right? So do you take her to the yes, races sir. with you? No. You don't take her? What does she think about if you start the, start your quarter midget up car at home? Does she bark at it or you ever put her in it and yes. take her for a ride? Yeah. No. Yeah. No, you didn't take her for a ride? I think a Rottweiler would like a ride. You know what? I used to have a Doberman and man, he thought when the truck left, he was supposed to be in it and hanging his head out the window. That would be a cool video. You put, you put Eva in the quarter midget and, and then let her kind of stick her head out the window and take her for a couple laps. Okay. All right. So I understand that you've been having an awesome year in the quarter midgets. So in the red rookie class, you've had six starts, right? With six wins. Yes, sir. That's like a hundred percent. I don't know of yes, a lot sir. of race car drivers that are a hundred percent. So how many more races do you have this year? Um, I think five. Five more races. You think you can go 11 for 11? I hope so. You hope so? Okay. So once you, once you leave Red Rookie, where do you go from there? What's the next class that you would move up to? Blue Rookie. To Blue Rookie. So you planning on doing that next year or maybe later this year? Or? Later this year. Later this year. I think that's a good idea because once you... Once you get to a point where you're winning everything, we still want to challenge you as a race car driver, right? You want to, you want to go out there going, okay, now I need to beat people that's got more experience than me. So I, me, I practice blue play all the time. You do. That's good. That's great. In your development stage. So just share with us, what was it like to win your very first race? Awesome. It was awesome. So do you remember that? I mean, remember getting the checkered flag and being able to make a lap around the, around the track? Is that not, that's not the yes, neatest sir. thing in the world, is it? Yes, sir. And your first win was at New Smyrna? Yes, sir. So did you do any burnouts or did you do any donuts or anything like yeah. that to celebrate? No? All right. Yeah. Well, that's good because I've interviewed a couple of kids that said that their first race, they tried to do something goofy and end up crashing and one kid said the checkered flag flew across his face and he couldn't see and he ran into the wall. So you had a perfect victory lap as well, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. So what was your most memorable race out of all the races that you've run? And it doesn't necessarily have to be a win, but what was your most memorable race that you think? Very first race. The very first race. And you won that one? Yes, sir. So that will always be um, special to you, no matter how old that you get. So yes, sir. I know that all race car drivers have to make sacrifices because a lot of times your racing schedule don't allow you to be able to, you know, go to parties and do stuff like that. So what are some of the sacrifices that you've made to be a race car driver? A lot of practice. A lot of practice. The practice is good. So all this practice and the things that you've given up and stuff like that, is it all worth it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So who are your biggest supporters? Um, my mom, my dad, and my coach, Paul. Your coach, Paul. So tell me a little bit about coach Paul. What does he do? Does he set your car up and then, and then just kind of coach you on how to drive it? 
He trains everybody. He trains everybody. Okay. So you've got a you've got a coach that's there that actually works with the drivers. Um, and I, I've not heard of a lot of um, clubs that do that. That's a that's a really neat thing. So what does he have you working on now? What is the next thing that you're gonna be working on to make, make you even better, even though you've won every race that you've been in? Moving up to blue plate. Moving up to blue plate, okay. So what are your racing goals? If we had a magic ball, so let's just say you had a crystal ball in front of you and you could look in that crystal ball and it was 10 years from now, what do you wanna be racing in? Race for NASCAR. You want to race for NASCAR. All right, so you've got a lot of steps in between there, right? So if you're going to do yes, blue, if you're going to do uh, blue rookie next, then you're going to move up to where would you go from blue rookie? Junior Honda. Junior Honda. Okay. All right, so you've got your sights set on the Monster Energy Drink Cup Series. Now, you know that by the time you get there, it's probably going to be called something else. So there'll probably be a new yes. sponsor involved by the time you get there. So what, is, what does Liam do when you're not racing? What type of hobbies do you have? Um, I hang out with my family. I go fishing. I camp. I play with my friends. Okay. Now, I was reading some stuff about you online. Now, I understand that you've taken several laps at Daytona International Speedway. So tell us what that yes. was like. Awesome. It was awesome. So you were in a, you were in a cup car, like in the passenger seat. Is that what you were in? And how yes, fast sir. did you get up to? About 150 to. About, a, about 150. So what was it like going into one of those banks, like down in turn one or turn two? Was that pretty exciting? Yes, sir. So did when you got back and you pulled back on pit road, did you look over to the guy who was driving and ask him, say, can I take it for a couple laps by myself? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, but I get, wish. You wish. <laughs> well, you have to get a little bit taller. We'd have to put like a booster seat in there and maybe move the pedals up. But you know what? I think you probably could drive that car around there. So you got something big to look forward to um, as far as your racing career. Um, now I want you to tell us something about you that maybe a whole lot of people that are viewing the show tonight wouldn't know about Liam. What do you want people to know about you? I snore. You snore. <laughs> so let me, I mean, I, I got to ask this question. Does Eva sleep in the room with you? No, sir. No, she doesn't? Because I know my dog snores. So why do you think you're snoring? Well, I hear her sometimes. Yeah. And so does people not like to sleep in this? Like if you go out on, on, on race weekends and you have to stay in the hotel, does other people not like to sleep in the room with you because you snore? What? Repeat that. I said, when you, if you're out on the road and you're in a hotel room like that, do, do people not like to sleep in that room because you snore? No. You know what the snoring I think is? I think it's the subconscious making you sound like a race car. Yes. There, that, we'll, we'll go with that anyway. So do you have any sponsors on your car that you want to give a call out to? No. No sponsors yet. Okay, well, sponsors, if you're a business owner out there and you're in the new Smyrna area, here's a young racer you might want to get hooked up with. Get your name on his car because, I mean, he's 100%. Six starts, six wins. So, Liam, let me ask you, do you have, um, I know that you have, a, do you have a Facebook page? Um, yes, sir. You do? Okay. And, and what is that? Do you know what the, I know Lightning. your dad's in there with you. Go ahead. Lightning Liam Riddle. Okay. All right. Very good. Well, Liam, I want to thank you for being on our show. And I hope thank you have. Thank you so much. You're more than welcome. I hope you have a great rest of your 2018 season. And I'm going to ask you a question. 32. If you go 11 for 11, 
Will you come back on the show? Yes, sir. You will? Okay. Well, again, thank you for being with us. Now, everybody, there you've got mm -hmm. it. Young Liam, he's over by New Smyrna Speedway, uh, right outside of Daytona, an up-and-coming quarter midget racer. I mean, what can we say? The kid's six for six. And I've got a feeling that he may just hit that 11 for 11. So I want to thank all of you for tuning in. And I invite you to be back here in two weeks as we have another young driver that we classify as who's next. So everybody go out and support local racing in your community. And we'll see you back here in two weeks.